So my name is Peter Jenkins, uh, I'm a neurology registrar and also a clinical research fellow. Uh, so I work with the Traumatic Brain Injury uh, team at Imperial College and I'm just finishing my PhD now. Um, hi, I'm Lucia Lee. I'm also a Neurology Registrar and Clinical Research Fellow at Imperial with the Traumatic Brain Injury Team. Together we've uh, co-organised the conference. So it all started about a year and a half ago. Uh, we went to the uh, International Brain Injury Association Conference in The Hague and um, I think the feeling there was several of us and also Professor Sharp, our supervisor, uh, and several of the other senior head injury uh, people throughout the UK and we were at this conference and we just felt it was lacking um, some of the in-depth science that had been happening. It was quite clinically focused and we thought given how much science was happening, neuroscience was happening in the area of traumatic brain injury, it needed a showcase, it needed its own conference. Uh, so then, back then, 18 months ago, the idea was hatched and it kind of simmered on a back burner uh, until about uh, 10 months ago when we decided that it really had to happen. Yeah, putting it together, it's like a fancy football league but with TBI speakers. <laughs> Um, I'm really looking forward to the debates actually because I think it's a fun, engaging way to cover quite serious topics. For example, um, the kind of brain injuries you might get with a uh, cycle crash, but also how much we can legislate for that. And then the second debate, should we retire the term uh, concussion? It's around this potential confusion and what concussion actually means and whether it's a different type of brain injury. And of course it's very topical at the moment. And we've got some fantastic speakers. So I think at the moment, um, the, from a clinical point of view, I think the uh, opportunity for treatments um, is, we're not quite there yet, but it's almost on the horizon as a possibility. And I think uh, we're advancing the basic science that we're starting to get more of a handle of what's going on at a pathological basis that hopefully um, that will then direct future treatments. And I think particularly that's about um, using um, imaging measures and other measures that we can try and direct individualised therapy in, in traumatic brain injury. And big data as well, the idea that we can follow thousands of people up internationally. Because TBI is such a heterogeneous disease, you need big numbers to show any kind of benefit and, and sort of international collaboration is key to that, I think. Big data, solving this idea of uh, using TBI heterogeneity as an advantage and leveraging that rather than treating it as a disadvantage, for me, I think, personally. and. Um, uh, understanding the pathog pathogenic mechanisms and the pathology behind different types of TBI I think are very important to guide treatment as you were saying. I think I think it's been quite a neglected patient population for a while actually. I think the states has sort of led led the field a lot and I hopefully it will come across um, here and I know that in the UK and Europe now uh, there's these huge studies that are being undertaken so I think I'm hoping that actually the clinical side of things is going to improve for patients. I'm hoping that there's going to be um, greater rehabilitation opportunities for them. Um, you know, we regularly see people who've kind of fallen out of the system and have had no support uh, and they're vulnerable, you know, they can be quite vulnerable you know, and if you've got cognitive impairments or other problems from the head injury it can be difficult to source that so I think greater support um, for patients in the clinical and with that as well, the paediatric and the mm. prison population, so the societal um, effects and um, causes of TBI, I think we really need to understand that a bit better as well. 